Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Yes, I did buy the new Makeup by Mario palette. I am very excited to get into it with you guys today. This will actually be my second look doing anything with this, so we will see how it goes. I'm gonna be doing a full face though today, so um, I'm gonna leave a timestamp down below to exactly where I start using this if you're only here to see the palette. I thought about doing a dedicated video, but I kind of just wanted to try a bunch of different things on and do a full face, so if you wanna skip to that, skip to it. I'm gonna do like the swatches and stuff, pretty similar to how I do, maybe a little faster, but I'm gonna just include it all in this big old video. A few things though on this palette, I was so excited when I saw pictures of this, I was like, that is my dream. And so I ordered it pretty right off. I think it might be sold out actually on the Sephora site. I know it's the last day for the sale today. I figured you guys might wanna know my thoughts on it. So that was one of the reasons I wanted to order it. But also I ordered this very late. I ordered this last year, but this has been out for a long time. This is the Master Metallics palette from Makeup by Mario. And I really love this palette. So I was like, I wanna get it like when it comes out instead of waiting and waiting and then finally loving it. But then I went into Sephora before it like got to me and I swatched some of these cause there are like three topper shades and I was like, Hmm, and even doing my makeup yesterday with it for the first time, I was kind of like, hmm. So I have a little bit of conflicting thoughts just, you know, in this very preliminary time that I've had with it. But let's just get started with the whole phase. We'll get into it, obviously. I am gonna cut this baby open. I freaking have been loving this primer from Valentino. I like literally don't wanna stop using it. Like I'm obsessed with it. So I did order it. And when I ordered it, it was like, you know, there, I ordered it like normal, but I think it's basically like on back order because it's sold out now and I bought it at the same time as this palette, but that thing hasn't shipped to me and it just has out of stock. So I don't know what's going on with that, but man, this comes in two shades. One is like a light pink, the one I'm using right now, and one is a little bit deeper. And I would have thought nothing literally of this primer. Like I just got it cause it was the first Valentino like beauty item I'd ever tried. But I really do love it, you guys. Like the more I use it, it's the only thing I wanna use because it is glowy, but the difference, this is the difference. I love being glowy, I love the glowy look, but I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm just like so oily and a lot of glowy products tend to just make me look very oily throughout the day. They just don't have the lasting power on my skin. I have to touch up within a couple of hours, sometimes like seriously, faster than that, 30 minutes an hour, <laughs> and we need powder or blotting or something. And what I'm loving about this is that it gives me the glow, the glow like the Charlotte Tilbury, the glow like the glowish tinted thing, but those have like a more moisturizing formula to them, which is great. It feels great on my skin. It's just that it's a little bit too much for like the actual oils I just naturally produce. So those are better for like dry skin or even just combination. And my goodness, this thing has just been so, so good. This goes on almost kind of matte, but gives you a glow. It's like a matte glow. It's amazing, it's really amazing. Anyway, for foundation I'm mixing too. I thought I'd bust out the Urban Decay Hydromaniac. I do like this. I don't know why I just don't reach for it because it is pretty. Maybe I should just do this. Let's try just this on this primer. I've never done that before. That's what we're gonna do. So just the Hydromaniac actually, switched it up and I'm gonna use a sponge just so I get the best lay down of the product. This color, I have the shade 20, uh, which I think is like the second lightest shade, works really well from Urban Decay for me. It goes on a little light, but I feel like with a little bit of time, it does like oxidize slash dry darker slash whatever happens. It, <laughs> it starts like adjusting and it works out really well. I remember really liking this when I was using it very consistently, but naturally I went back to my Yenta, so. I've just used this like mixing here and there, but not really consistently. And I feel like a renewed vigor to try some foundations because I've been using actually my Salt Sneaky Balm. I'm almost done with it and it's really beautiful. Like it gives me coverage without looking detectable on the skin. It looks so good, but I am oily, like I've said. And so, you know, it, it does does make me get a little oily. It doesn't have the best wear time on me. Like I still wear it, but I, if I'm thinking of like, oh, I'm going out or I'm seeing people like that type of stuff. If I'm just around my house, it's not a big deal. But sometimes you need to know that things are gonna work for you. And because that primer works so well, the sneaky balm's looking so good, I'm kind of like, 
Oh my gosh, maybe there's better stuff out there than my Yensa. Maybe I can find something better. Okay, I think that looks really good. It's a little dewy, I think, because I'm using my sponge. Concealer, I'm using the Dior. I've been loving this. I bought this during the Sephora sale. I used this as a foundation all by itself one day, and I really like that look as well. And there's so much product in here. Truly, this is like massive. You get 11 mils in here, or 0.37 fluid ounces, which I feel like is a lot, honestly. I feel like the NYX serum feels like a lot in that concealer and it's about that size, if not a little bigger. I'm gonna take a little brush and get a little bit of my concealer on it so that I can put it on my face. I have like the tiniest little spot and sometimes with the sponge, when something's raised up off the skin, it doesn't like stick to that area cause it's like the tallest. And so you need to go in and like actually kind of touch it up with a brush. But even this doesn't seem to really be working. Sometimes just, you know, different concealers. Maybe if I powder it and then go over it. Sometimes I just don't even cover them though. I'm like, if it's that pesky, like, fuck it. Like, you know, it's kind of small anyway. But let me zoom you in. I thought I would give you a little close up. This is what my skin looks like when I think it looks good. <laughs> I feel like sometimes on social media, it is so tough to know what the fuck looks good. Even when I make shorts, something about how the files get compressed makes everything look really, just blurry, you know? And so even though I'm filming on this camera like I normally do, and I'll see people and I'm like, their skin looks so good, but not saying it doesn't look good in real life. I'm just saying real life, there is real texture and you know, you can see stuff. Sometimes it looks a little unflattering on camera, but that's actually real life and maybe actually looks good. And I don't know, I just wanna give you guys a hopefully realistic view of what my skin looks like so you can kind of judge how foundations or concealers or powders or whatever is working for you if it's actually like working or if you're trying to go for like an unrealistic standard, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's do, I think I'm gonna go into bronzer now. Usually I do a cream bronzer, but I kinda wanna just do powder. I haven't done powder in a while. I have two here, this one's the Nabla one. I had a whole dream about Nabla last night. <laughs> what that was about. I had a dream I went to like a Nabla store, but they also had a bunch of other products and it was in a different country and they were like out of, I don't know, it was <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> uh, but also the Fenty one, which is a little bit cooler. I feel like I haven't really done a ton with this one, but I kind of want a little bit of uh, a sheen, but this is darker. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this. The Nabla, we'll see. And I'm gonna use this Odin's eye brush. I am right now really working on getting my room situated before we get into Vlogmas because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do like a full blown Vlogmas. I haven't like 100% decided because I'm like prioritizing my mental health <laughs> as much as I can. But I really want to be in the best place to do that and just in general film quite a bit. And so I'm getting my room all done. I know we have like this kind of sad background, but I promise you the wall next to me is getting done. I'm getting systems in order. I'm really trying to get it going for me, girl. Get it going. And it's feeling really great. But anyway, as I was cleaning, I was like, oh my gosh, I have these brushes from Odin's Eye. I've never even tried. I kind of want to give them a shot because I've been going through my brushes a lot and cleaning them actually and just trying to I don't know, be an organized person. I think sometimes I'm really resistant to order because it feels like it's telling me what to do. I like have a lot of problems with that I'm learning, but I'm also learning that through order and scheduling comes freedom. You don't think it, it seems like that would be the opposite, but I'm learning. That's how you actually get stuff done and have time to do fun shit. Anyway, this is not a get ready with me, like a chatty one, it wasn't meant to be. I always hit my nose so that way I don't just have this like white or like really light colored nose in the middle with no dimension where everything else does. I know this is silly, but I really love the color of the brushes, these ones, like the periwinkle with this kind of, it's like almost a gray top. Looks like one of those dogs. You know the dogs that look all gray uh, and they look so soft. That's literally these brushes. All right, it's looking good. I'm gonna set with powder now, a very light amount because we're gonna go in with the Simi Haze blush. I used it yesterday, it looked really good and I kind of was like, you know, as much as it's expensive, it's like, that's just the price. Maybe I was harping on that a little much. And so I'm happy that it seems to at least be good. I'm mostly just setting the center, not really like back here. And I use the Rare Beauty 
powder. Let's get into this. So there's two sides to this thing. One is more of a like really more dewy cream, like more emollient, has some shine to it, and it's more transparent. That's like a, a light swatch. Whereas the other side, oh no, I'm going into the same side. The other side is more of like a matte cream. I think it dries more like a powder, yeah. And that's a swatch of it there. So definitely different looks. I think uh, maybe I'll go in with the cream one first. I'm using the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy brush. It's my favorite for blushes, specifically cream blushes. I'm going in with that more dewy one first. I didn't use this one really yesterday, I used the other one. And I like this brush specifically with those types of formulas that are a little bit shinier. The brush like soaks up a little bit of the formula but not necessarily the pigment so I can get a more or less shiny look, you know? I really love the color. Very natural, definitely one of those like natural girl looks <laughs> with this. I'm gonna go into the other side now, same brush, really not doing anything else. Um, and I'm gonna put a little on my nose just because I think that formula might work better for me over time, like throughout the day. And then I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna try not to get too blushy. And then if I wanna add more, maybe I'll come back with the other side at the end of the look. I usually do that where I'll put blush on and then I'll come back and put more on if I feel like after everything's on, I need more. For highlighters, I have two from ColourPop. Well, this one is actually like a blush, but I think I'm gonna use this highlighter. This is the shade Felicity and it is glittery. It has a bit of like a golden shine. Let me see what it looks like. That's it there. I think it'll look really good. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see me as I apply it. I'm just gonna tap it on. I might also use some of the makeup by Mario though. I did that yesterday and it looked really good too. And I'm just tapping it on. It's very glittery for sure, but I kind of like that. It's more subtle because it's not super like champagne. Hmm, I'm definitely gonna need to give this a few tries, but I just have loved the glittery or more glittery highlights. It doesn't always have to be like straight up glitter, but definitely something a little bit sparkly as opposed to something only smooth. I have definitely been enjoying. All right, so that's it. I'm not gonna put any more on. I'm not gonna put it anywhere else, at least not right now. I think that looks good. It's like somehow like low key for a glitter highlight. <laughs> Like somehow. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be way more bam in your face, but it's not necessarily. I'm gonna leave us here. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm just using just this Tarte product because it's so simple. I basically like wobble between this and the Persona and then some type of brow pencil. They're just my go-tos. And then when I start feeling like dissatisfied with one, I just switch back to the other, I feel like. But it's so easy. The only thing I hate about this, I feel like on camera this looks, or just in different light, sometimes it looks a little maybe warm. And I'm like, what? But then other times it looks totally fine. And I'm like, no, it's not too warm at all. So I don't know what that's about. This is the shade Ash Blonde. Look at that, so fast. I talked to you the whole time I was doing this and I created an eyebrow that fast. That's why I love this one. This one's definitely lots of control, but still fast, which I feel like usually you don't get something with that much control that fast. You kind of have to have one or the other, but this does it both. It's so funny because for my eyebrows, I have like, this is my more normal eyebrow. This is my more wild eyebrow. I feel like the front part of it always looks a little more, you know, unruly. <laughs> this one always just looks a little more put together. All right, let's prime. I'm just using the Sigma Eye Base and then we can get into this look. Okay, so this is the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. It comes with a mix of mattes and shimmers. There's 12 different shades, seven mattes, three toppers, and two more like metallic colors in here. These three here are the toppers and they're very much like the Urban Decay Moon Dust. They're like the Moon Dust. They're very light, very thin, very fine, very sparkly, um, but very sheer as well. It's interesting and a little bit thinner than I expected like I love a sheer base But these ones are quite sheer and you're really getting a lot of the sparkle But let me do swatches really fast the first shade in here is just like a matte 
cream. It has a little bit of like a yellow undertone, almost like a custard kind of look to it. Going across the top row, we get into the first topper. This one is a light champagne. It has a little bit of warmth, but overall out of all three, it's the most like neutral champagne. Then we have a light like toffee matte. This has some warmth to it and would make for me a good transition type color. Then the last one in the first row is just a pretty traditional brown. It's kind of mid-tone, it's not too deep, it's not too light, it's not too warm, not too cool, kind of in between. Moving on to the second row, this is a cool toned, lighter shade. It almost gives me like concrete, but it has a little bit of warmth behind it. Next, we're getting into another one of those topper shades. This is probably my favorite out of all three. This has a warm base to it with a cool silver sparkle on top. The base, like I said, is quite sheer. You can build it up, but that's in a swatch, which is a little bit different than I've noticed on my eyes. Next is a rosy neutral. This is so pretty. Really love this one. I think adds some nice interest to the palette. And then last in the second row is the first metallic and this is a bronze color. This to me is like that in between of like a satin and metallic so it has a nice shine on it but it's definitely not foiled and I actually really like these types of colors in palettes. Moving on to the last row, the first shade is another matte. This is a warm mid-tone brown. Then we have a shimmery gold. This one is another one of those toppers so it doesn't have a ton of base but this one definitely pulls warmer with the gold. Not super yellow, but definitely not neutral. Then we have the second metallic. This one is a little bit thicker and has a little bit more sparkle than the other metallic in here. It's not as much like a satin and it's really pretty. It's this warm silver is what I would call it. Yeah, I think that's maybe the best way to put it. And then last, the deepest color in the palette is a brown and it definitely gives some depth to the palette without being a black. And then that's the palette in its entirety. I really love the shimmers. I do wish there were a few more shimmers. You guys know I like a shimmer heavy palette, but I did like the mattes that were in here as well. So that's why I got it. And I did like the vibe of the palette as a whole as well. So let's now get into actually putting this shit on my eyes. Like I said, this isn't the first look that I'm doing. I did one yesterday and when I first did it, I didn't love it, but I feel like as the day wore on, it got a little bit more like in my skin or like it settled into a look. And um, Sam even was like, oh, I really like your eyeshadow like later on in the day. Something about the way the shimmers finally like felt like one with my eye looked better. And I agreed too. like, it needed like the oils or something to like get it. I don't know if it's weird to say that, but I'm thinking that's what happened. I kind of want to do something similar to what I did yesterday and just see if I can perfect that look. And I also need a little glitter glue with it. So I think that's what I'm going to do, which means I'm using this sparkle here. Here, which I told you was my favorite. I am gonna do though, I don't know if I wanna do the matte. I'm gonna do the rosy one first. I was kind of mixing them yesterday as I went, but I'm gonna do just one at a time and see. Blend out my creasing primer. I felt like everything blended like matte wise really well yesterday. I haven't tried any of the matte formulas from Makeup by Mario. I only have the metallic palette, which is all shimmer, but I think that this is a different matte formula than even the matte palette that he has. So I can't compare for you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna try doing this and I'm also gonna like make it more of a look. I feel like I went for a lighter like every day and I'm gonna make this one a little bit more va va voom, like still the same idea, but a little bit more. There's definitely kick up in the pan with this, which I don't know why I was like kind of surprised. I guess a lot of what I use, maybe it's cause I don't use mattes though a lot. I was just like, I haven't seen that in a while, but I feel like a lot of formulas do that, so I don't know why. I felt like that was such a thing, but they're very soft and I feel like they kind of do the work for you. Like seriously, they blend really effortlessly. I'm gonna go in now with that taupey mid-tone color or light color really. That's more like concrete. And I'm gonna be putting that in the outer corner and just see what depth I can get. I might build up a little bit more depth, but I really just don't want it to be so pink and wanna build up some brown slash gray. And I'm tapping off my brush every time I go in, whether it's like on the outside or just like in the air, just because again, it's so powdery. I don't wanna 
get fallout. I think I'm gonna go in, like I, I like where it's at right now. It's adding some depth, but I want a little bit more. This is like the difference. I think I'm gonna go into this one because it's still pretty neutral. It's not super warm, but it's not the deepest brown. And I'm gonna start putting that in the outer corner as well. I feel like maybe this palette might be best where you're really not mixing too much because I almost feel like because it's so soft, everything's like muddying together a little. Like it's very blended, but nothing's like as defined, which I don't even know if I normally like that look, but just something I'm noting, like I'm telling you, I thought that this was gonna be just like the number one win, but as soon as I swatched it in Sephora again before it came to me, I was kind of like, hmm, I wonder if I'm actually gonna like that. <laughs> actually, actually, actually. Okay, let's do glitter glue. I definitely suggest using a glitter glue with these if you want any longevity or any opacity, because again, they're very sheer and very, it's not only the sheerness, because some things can be sheer, but have a grip to them or have a weight to them where they can still go on the eye nicely. These ones they're really like fairy dust like blow away in the wind so I really feel like you should use a glitter glue to tack them down and I'm excited to see how this will kind of change the overall look of that compared to my experience yesterday so I'm going into that shade here it's very like it's so interesting it's very thin Oh yeah, glitter glue is the thing. That makes me excited that that's really what needs to happen because I was a little disappointed yesterday with how it went on and I don't normally use glitter glues and I love sparkly shadows, you guys know that. And I feel like there's a lot out there that don't need it, but I feel like this formula really does. So there it is. I'll get it even closer up once I finish the other eye. Let me do that. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm feeling better about it. Even the way the mattes blend out, it looks really good. Like, you know, maybe my expectations were just high or I don't really know what. But again, with that shimmer, the way that it is, it is very much like the closest thing I could say is the Urban Decay, but even thinner and even like lighter and dustier. It's a beautiful look for sure, but it is different than like the Patrick Ta, even that one, if you've ever felt that, like it can get hard pan, which I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit, but I can still pick it up. It's not like it's not coming off on my hand. I really think you're gonna wanna like though the Urban Decay formula, the Moon Dust, if you want to see how these are. But that gave a nice shine. I do like how fine the shimmer is in these palettes for the, for the toppers. They're very, it's very fine. I'm gonna add it out here as a little bit of a highlight. I would love, 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 love this formula in a highlighter. I think it would look beautiful. I'm also gonna use that just like up here on my brow bone a little. But like, I didn't put any product up there to like hold it, you know, any glitter glue. And I just feel like it's hard to get it to stick. Like they don't wanna to stick to anything. I'm gonna to try to get some on my inner corner and I'm going to spray this down. I'm using that light shade to see what we can get. So that also helps a lot if you wet the brush. I feel like I'm going back to like old techniques here. And here's the thing, like I like this look so far, but I think it's just gonna get like look better throughout my wear with it, which is not normal. Usually I love a look and then towards the end of the night, I'm like, woo, but I feel like this is one of those ones for some reason it like settles in better and better the more you wear kind of like a grungy, like Rowan glam sparkle look. I'm gonna add a little bit of the matte uh, gray kind of just to the outer edge. I'm just tapping over just so it's a little more blended there. I mean, I think my eye look is really pretty, really sultry. I do like it, don't get me wrong. I'm looking so shiny. I need to definitely put some more powder on. Like that's how fast I get oily. That's how fast. And I'm tight lighting just a little. And you know, I'm gonna put a little bit of that matte, again, the grayish color on that bottom lash line, just blending out a bit of that liner I put down. Now for mascara, I'm gonna be using that Make Waves from Tower 28. I have been loving this, you guys. It's good, it's really good. The reason I like it is one, it really does let my lashes shine. I can really comb through them all. It's very black, which is nice, but it doesn't flake and it's really nice for that. I feel like I've not realized how bad so many of my mascaras flake throughout the day and this one really doesn't. Just 
is solid and stays put and doesn't really get clumpy in a bad way. I feel like any of the like clumps that might happen just look good, you know? And then I'll do a little on my outer edge. So there's one eye with and one eye without. Oh my gosh. I never do my mascara that way. I always switch hands. <laughs> I do my right eye with my right arm or right hand and do my left eye with my left hand. I think this mascara also is just so great for like really easy everyday looks or really no eyeshadow looks because it really defines my lashes and almost like tight lines them. Like I can get close enough where it almost looks like a tight line and I really like that look. And then again, because it doesn't smudge or move around, I don't have to worry about it looking messy throughout the day. I'm just powdering because it feels just so glowy. I wanna try this with like really full coverage one day. All right, so here are the eyes finished. I think it looks really good, super sultry, smoky, kind of that glam, effortless like look, like somehow still, I don't know, light. So I like the finished result. I really do. I think it looks really pretty. I love the way that sparkle looks out here as well. Like I love the colors. I do really like the look, I do. I'm gonna put a little lip on, just a little lip liner. This one's from Oma Beauty. And I'm topping that over with the Rowan Gloss. I think that looks really good. On its own, this is pretty sheer, but I find over a more opaque lip, it looks like a more traditional gloss. All right, a little more blush, naturally. It's kind of hard to get that cream, like the matte side on my brush, it feels. All right, here is the look. I think I look really pretty. Like I could be every day, but I also could be pretty glam. And I do really like that. All right, let's talk about the palette. I feel like that's like the main thing I wanna wrap up in here. Second time using it, I did a similar look to what I did yesterday. Really like how it turned out today better. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes the first time you do a look, you learn what you need to, to do it again better the second time. I'm excited to continue doing looks with this. I really do like, a lot of the tones that are in here like this is more my vibe right now there's like cooler ish tones there's still a lot of warmth in this palette i wouldn't say that this is like actually super cool there's really like three colors that maybe actually you know qualify <laughs> in the actual cool tone area the mattes are really pretty really blendable i do like the way they look today i don't know how to explain what i'm feeling with like them getting a little muddy. You'll have to tell me what you think as I was blending, but there is something, they're so soft, they blend themselves, but I really wanna try just some like one shadow looks and just mattes maybe on the eye, see how that looks. Like I really wanna just delve into this a little bit more to get my thoughts on that, but so easy. I feel like user-friendly and easy to blend. When it comes to the topper type shadows, those are the ones I really have the most experience with. I can't really speak to the other metallics in the palette yet, but I'm not unsatisfied with them, but they were just so much thinner than I thought. I wanted them to be semi-opaque, not sheer, you know, not actual topper toppers, and they really are. And because they're so sheer, you know, I wish there was just more differentiation between these. I wish one of them had a duochrome maybe to it, like neutral, but like even one of those green blue kind of toppers or something like that, just to add a little bit more interest because one of them, like either the gold or the champagne could have been subbed out and you wouldn't miss it. Like, like just for more variety out of this palette. And I feel like that's also the case. Like I like the tones in here, but I feel like even these two browns, you know, they're not the same, but maybe those could have been different and it would have made for a little bit more of a diverse palette. We could have maybe even gone a little bit deeper, maybe an actual like charcoal gray, almost leaning black, I think would have been nice in here just to have that extra depth. Um, maybe a little bit more like mid-tone shimmers. I don't know. Again, this is obviously what he wanted to make and I love Loved the pictures of it, I bought it, and I do like it. I'm just trying to get across the feelings I'm having thus far, but I love the look. Definitely use a glitter glue on those toppers. I'm excited to keep playing with it, and I do think it could be a really great one for an everyday, like you do the same look or very similar looks every single day, that palette could be great for you. You're really not gonna get a ton of diversity in looks. Like, they're all gonna be very similar, and even similar-ish in depth, like there's only 
so deep you can go. Let me know if you want a like duping. Maybe if I do a dupe video soon, I'll like include this and see what I can dupe it with. Or maybe I'll do a video where it's like changing it, like taking this and, and getting some inspiration. I'll do a few palettes. Let me know if you'd be interested in that, but I am happy with it. It is a little bit expensive at $68. So far I do like it though. I just, I love that middle topper I used on my eyes. I'm a sucker for those shades, but if you just want that, you could get a single shadow from Urban Decay, honestly. Like the moon dust shadows, just get one of those, the one you like, use mattes at home, that could also work too. Let me know what you think about the palette. Did you pick it up? Were you interested? I know it's like kind of a basic boring bitch palette, but you guys know I've like turned into that a little bit. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.